Who would have thought the 6 foot 10 inch 300 pound Undertaker would have an aversion to a particular vegetable? In a new episode of the Wives of Wrestling podcast, The Undertaker's wife, former WWE Women's and Diva champion Michelle McCall, joined the show to give the scoop on what home life is like with the phenom. It's been documented before that Undertaker is afraid of cucumbers, and McCall gave a bit of insight on how such a phobia came about. McCall said, We can't even have one in the room. Every birthday, our daughter gets cucumbers. She'll like put them under his pillow. She'll put them in his car. He can't even smell them and can't even be around it. He ate so many cucumbers one day that he got sick. And ever since then, it was just game over. Next up, Scott Steiner's issues with Ric Flair look to be as heated as ever. During a live online signing with High Spot Superstore this week, WWE Hall of Famers the Steiner brothers, Rick and Scott, were the featured guests on the show. Things were running relatively smooth until the last moments of the live stream when someone asked Scott about the Nature Boy. Scott said, Ric Flair ain't no friend of mine, when the host sarcastically referred to Flair as his friend. The subject of Flair's upcoming retirement match was brought up with a sarcastic suggestion for Scott to be his final opponent. Rumours were swirling that either Ricky the Dragon Steamboat or Hulk Hogan were going to be Flair's final opponent, but both of those reports have been shut down since then. Scott stated, I would kill him. I would destroy him in a match. Yeah, everybody wants to see him get beat up. The heat between Scott and Rick can be traced all the way back to their time working together in WCW. One man who worked alongside them at the time was Arn Anderson, and he revealed on his podcast where he believes the issue started between Flair and Scott. Arn said, I think Rick had a match with Scotty on a big show. Clash of Champions, maybe. And apparently, Scotty didn't like the match, and he felt like Rick held back, or tanked, or something. I never had the conversation with either guy, but there was like a conspiracy, and in somebody's mind, one way or the other, I don't know how it went down, but the match was not what either one of them wanted it to be, and I think they carried that. And finally, WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long has revealed that he despised former WWE Head of Talent Relations Mark Carano over issues with a Legends deal. Long touched on recent news that he does not have a WWE Legends contract despite being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, which caught many by surprise. This is a contract that according to Long sees WWE give you a check every week. Some of them are different, some of them for maybe $1,000 a week or $500 a week. WWE has not given the former SmackDown general manager one of these deals and he believes that was a result of Carano who thought that Long was, as he put it, the dumbest black man on the planet. Long further elaborated that once you get one of those deals, they still give you a check every week whether they use you or not. But the way that they get their money back is you didn't get any royalties. They held all your royalty money and stuff. That way, I guess, that's how they get their money back. And Mark Carano was the guy that was in charge of that stuff. He always would come to me with stuff and I would just look at him and I never did smarten him up. I never did let him know I knew exactly what he was saying to me. If you smarten him up, it won't continue to happen and I wanted it to happen so I could see exactly how this man really felt about me. Carano ended up being released by WWE after the Mickey James incident after he sent her remaining WWE items home in a trash bag. Long believes Carano should have been dumped way before that happened. And that's your news for today. Let me know your thoughts about today's stories in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.